Hey guys, Uncle Jane here again, and this is the second of my unboxing videos um, that I'm uploading today. And this one, I knew it was coming. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to find in there, and I hope they're all intact. Because uh, <coughs> sometimes you get a delivery in it, some of them are broken and stuff. However, what this is, is because I've, well, I, he didn't, he hasn't put a message on the outside of the box. There might be one on the inside. Um, but a guy in the homebrew community from Scotland, uh, Alan Paxton, um, otherwise known as Cidermeister. Hey, big man. I uh, hope you're doing well up there in, uh, in Scotland. Um, yeah, he's been a really kind guy and um, sent me some ciders to try. Um, so if I remember, and I'm awful at doing this, but I will try and put a link to his channel um, in, in the down below kind of stuff. And uh, Cidermeister, he uploaded a video last week that I looked at. Um, and it's basically on the ciders that he made last year. So the 2021 vintage. Um, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that some of them are going to be some of those ciders. But I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, really nice to know that when you, you know, fall on hard times and feeling a bit down in the dumps, uh, like, like I have been, um, yeah, that, that someone can, uh, you know, do something really kind and, uh, yeah, send some stuff to you. So Alan, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to do some reviews on these. I think you knew I was going to do it anyway, but, um, yeah, definitely going to do some, uh, cider reviews. Um, I like cider and my best, uh, my best friend in the world, uh, Jim, who, who, who actually died uh, in December last year, still fucking just woof, mind blown. He, for years, was a cider monster. Um, and so he kept trying to get me to drink cider. I kept trying to get him to drink beer. Uh, in the end, we drank a lot of Guinness together. <laughs> but he did actually start making beer. Anyway, I'm waffling on. And I should be doing an unboxing video, so yeah. Get the old, uh, get the old knifey out. Now I'm not 100% sure. This looks very well packed, and unlike the kind of beer 52 stuff, which I can kind of unbox very easily, I really don't want to cane this box because I'm not sure what the inside may have. Maybe, maybe I'll just cut into the top. How about that? Just trying to see how this has been done. So that's a flap. This is not how I'm meant to undo this box, by the way, but it's how I'm going to do it. Ah, so there is a box within a box. Oh, and there is a note. Ah. Oh my god, fantastic. Right, so how can oh he's actually sent <laughs> he sent me some tasting notes from the look of it. That's really cool. Thank you very much. I don't really want to show his address on the camera. Um so hi Jonathan. Um you've clearly been having a hard time. Yeah. Um Difficult to see you being sad. Well, I think <laughs> part of me is kind of vlogging, you know, my feelings and how things are going, which sounds really weird. Um, but yeah, that, it's a sort of documenting how, how I've been doing. Um, anyway, I thought... Uh, we're getting in touch and sending you some ciders, which might cheer you up. Yes, very much so. Thank you very much. You're a very kind man. Um, <laughs> don't worry about doing the reviews. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Um, nobody ever says they don't like a beer. Okay, so he's after some honest feedback. Well, hey, never mind. Um, useful tip, if you're back, uh, back sweetening, um, <laughs> put one in a pet bottle so you can keep the car check the carbonation levels. 
Um, here are five examples of my batches from last year. Uh, you can check them by, uh, yeah, by the, the little sticker on the top. So I'm going to double check. And this is what this is for, I guess. Um, yeah, to let me know what ciders they are. Um, you've said don't do the reviews, but I'm going to anyway. And I think secretly you knew, <laughs> you knew I was going to do that. But hey, I really like I like doing the reviews. That's that's why I don't. Um, not that I feel compelled to do them or anything like that. I genuinely do like uh, doing reviews, as I think most of you know. Right, I don't think we'll need this knife anymore. So let me put that one away. Oh, I've got some upside down ones and some. Oh, and they are plastic. Giving them a quick. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so we definitely got some some bottles here. Let me put them all the right way up. Definitely gone into this uh, <laughs> into this a weird way, but never mind. So we do have five. How? Oh, I'm assuming they're going to have a sticker or something on them. Oh no, here you go. They've got a sticker, and then it says it's got a code. So this one, and they're all unlabeled, so that's cool. So that one is CP. Um, let me see if I can work out what this one is. Yellow dot. Um, it's going to take me a while to work out. So there's one, two, three, four. Five, six. So let me go through these because otherwise it's going to be really difficult to work out what these are. So C is for cider, I know that. Uh, oops. As they all fall out. So what's he said on here? It says something. Right, CY, which stands for Cider Yellow Cat. So CP is going to be purple. So CP, which is this one, is purple. So I guess that's a normal purple one, which is just apples. Um, and then it tells, wow, gone into a lot of detail here. So those are the different apples. I'm assuming that's one. So it's a 6% cider, uh, Rubinette, Yarlington Mill, Black Dabonet, uh, Brown Apples, uh, Katie's, Bramley's. Wow. And in the relevant, um, yeah, that's basically all the apples mixed together, I reckon. <laughs> uh, that one is upside down. So let's put that one up. It's hard to read. C B. So B is gonna be black, I guess. Yep, so that's a raspberry one. And again, that's oh, I don't know if you can see this one here. Oh this one here. Um that's got raspberries in, um, along with uh, folk eaters. Ian Spokes. Ah, so someone, one of his friends, eater apples and cookers uh, mixed together with raspberries. Cool, that's all good. That one is TP. I'm not sure what that is. Might be another one of the purple ones. CS is silver or strawberry, because this one is basically Bramley apples. I'm just going to read it off here. Bramley apples with strawberries. Otherwise, it's quite boring for you. And then the final one is C 
see why. That's going to be yellow. Oh, hang on. Yellow. Oh, there are two batches that this could be. This one is a black currant, uh, black currant cider. Uh, oh, it's got black currant. It's got strawberries and raspberries in it. And there are two versions of this one, um, which is cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, Alan's got a an actual proper cider press, so that's really cool. But what's this one? P P P. P P or P D maybe. Uh, not sure. <laughs> Is that one? Is that? C oh no, C. Sorry, I've turned it the wrong way. That's why C G. So G for green, maybe? Green, here we go. Uh, dark green. So this one is no fruit added. Um, so that is a pure cider that he's made. Ah, wow. And I do have something to go from. So, so when I do my reviews on my ciders, I've got something to go by. Because otherwise I won't have a clue what's going on. Now, we're kind of going a bit over time. So this was a bit random, but Alan, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. And uh, yeah, I'm really going to enjoy uh, drinking these ciders, which is fantastic. So thank you very much. Um, I was lucky enough late, I think it was late last year, and it drove the missus totally bonkers. But I've actually uh, got a, a, a thresh, is it called a thresher? Um, one of those handle things that you chuck apples in and it knocks them, a scrobbler, is that the other way of saying it? It basically mashes them into the pulp. And um, I've got a fruit press as well, which I was kindly gifted. Um, a guy that lived near me was actually moving um, and he was a member of the local homebrew club. Um, he hasn't moved very far, he's just moved uh, down the road, but he's moved to a flat so he couldn't, um, he couldn't have that anymore. So I have got a fruit press and I've got some uh, some of those uh, bags, I guess. So Alan, you're gonna have to tell me how to use them properly because I'm not sure. I'll do, yeah, at some point in the future because yeah, they're in the shed at the moment. I need to clean them up. I need to do everything. I need to find some fruit as well, obviously, uh, to put in them. But I might do a video of just showing you what I've got um, because some of those things are actually, you know, they're like, you know, over a hundred quid if you're buying them, uh, you know, first hand. Um, but they come in really, really useful if you are making ciders or perries or wines, perhaps, or anything with um, with fruit in hedgerow, hedgerow things, hedgerow mixed fermentations. Who knows? Look forward to that and look forward to cider reviews on these. Anyway, um, yeah, this has been Uncle Joan. I'm getting a bit choked up now. Um, <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird because when, when you're, when you think things are really bad and can't get any worse, a lot of the time they can get worse, but also things happen um, like, like this that kind of, really lift your mood as well. Um, so yeah, really, really good to know that um, people kind of like what I'm doing and, you know, are willing to, to, to let me try the stuff that they've made as well. Um, same as, <clears throat> same, same as being in a homebrew club. Um, if you're doing, yeah, even if you're not homebrewing, even if you just like beers, being part of a club where you can go and talk to like-minded people is really good um, because otherwise, you know, you're drinking at home all the time, which it looks like that's all I do. But I don't often record videos when I'm at the local pub, for example, which I do go to quite regularly. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's end it there because I'm, yeah, I'm getting a bit kind of, yeah.
in awe of the kindness of, of people. Anyway, thank you very much, Alan. And I am going to do reviews on these. Don't you worry, sir. <laughs> cheers and beers, or cheers and ciders in this case. And uh, yeah, we'll see you real soon for more reviews of all types.